Good morning, Baiba. Hi, good morning. How are Have you? Coffee. It is morning. It's a beautiful morning, huh? Uh, it's a gorgeous morning. Yes, I I asked you to bring your drink <laughs> because this is really Saturday morning. So uh, you just revealed that you are drinking coffee. So uh, I just revealed that I'm a good good student. I I, I will follow directions. <laughs> Where's your coffee, Yilda? <laughs> No <laughs> bad following directions <laughs> your own directions how do you like your coffee by the way how do i like it i um i like it with i don't like it black so but i like it with some sort of creamer or milk or sometimes they will blend it if anyone uh, has heard about bulletproof coffee i will blend it with butter yeah so, I know it might sound gross, but it makes it foamy and yummy. No, I know. I add oil too. And then I can go uh, till afternoon without eating anything. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you do the fasting. Yeah. yeah but then I stop myself afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny when you have coffee with something, like it kind of fills you up. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Baba, do you know what the, this program is named that you have been invited to? <laughs> So I understand it's Ilze and friends oh. We're having conversations with different people. Close. It's actually Il Zebra's stories and friends. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have any idea why why I am implying that I am Il Zebra? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think. <laughs> <laughs> is this a uh, thing that has been going on uh, for the entirety uh, while I've been in this country that people cannot remember how to spell or pronounce or letter word Ilze or mm -hmm. Ilze. So I invented a story that I probably will tag uh, afterwards, but uh, how to remember is it is think of an ill zebra who is not a ah. bra. <laughs> So you take the bra off, you are left with ill Z. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have a story about the extra L because it's a thermometer that you use to uh, measure, to, to take the temperature of a zebra. So you take it off and you that use is the quite a story. Ill zebra. <laughs> so, um, That's it's funny because it was like, it sounds like zebra, but honestly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. It's got quite a visual. Right. <laughs> and then it sticks in your memory. Yeah. Yeah. I have how did it work? I have people saying that now I will never forget your name. <laughs> so let me ask you, because you also have a Latvian name. Has yeah. anybody called you Baba or Baby? Oh, yeah. All the time. All the time. All the time. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like I think the last correction I had to do was like somebody in a meeting kept calling me and it wasn't the first time they were in the meeting with me kept calling me baba baba and i'm like it's baba and they call me again and i'm like it, it's baba <laughs> you know and you feel so silly but i kept correcting the person <laughs> but yeah so i can totally relate yes i don't have i need to come up with such a memorable story you know that gets to your mind right away but i usually say think of bye bye but bye but that that's close enough right but when you are saying think of bye bye then they will start spelling it incorrectly yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah. one step at a time <laughs> <laughs> i'm not expecting perfection <laughs> so annoying when people uh, come back to me I, after I have written a letter to them and they come back to me and they correct my name, the spelling of my name, thinking that I misspelled it. <laughs> or they're not paying attention. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Well, talking more about um, names, I just uh, introduced the, the name of this program, but I also did my homework. I was a good student. So <laughs> I <laughs> looked you up and uh, you are associated with two other names, so to say. One is Create Your Best Career, which is your Instagram name. Mm -hmm. and, and the other one is You Bring the Magic. Yes. yes. The podcast. Yeah, the podcast. Yes. Could you tell me about these two projects? Where did they come from? 
Yeah, definitely. I'll be happy to. It's funny, I haven't been asked that. So essentially where it came from was that I've been in recruiting now for 15 years, you know, and so I worked with essentially thousands of people with candidates, you know, who are looking for jobs, you know, and change in their career and also hiring leaders, right, um, who are looking for team members, right, looking to add to their team, replace somebody who's left at different levels over the time. So I've been passionate about finding purpose, you know, finding really work, where's that magic or that um, perfect match where there's a position, right, that the hiring manager needs, but also that there's that right fit, you know, uh, a person who is looking for exactly that position. I find it that it's not an exact science. It's not always easy. So, and, and it sometimes can take time. It's literally like a puzzle. So that's why um, I created the name Create Your Best Career because it is kind of paying attention to you, learning more about your own strengths, what you like, what you don't like, what's energizing, what's energy draining for you. This is literally kind of how you, you know, anybody has the power, right, to from the experiences, you know, create their own best version of their career and purpose. So that's why I um, named it Create Your Best Career. And I started out the podcast uh, being called the same. And then um, a few months into it, I renamed it to You Bring the Magic because it goes back to kind of the theme of empowerment, even create your best career or You Bring the Magic. It's really kind of to remind people or that it really comes from inside of you, right? It's not this we think it will be this job or this manager or this team or the money, right? Or these specific set of circumstances. And you can even expand it, you know, to other areas of life, like this house, this uh, partner, right? When I have these kids, you know, when I have this and then I'll be happy, right? Then I'll feel fulfilled. Then I will feel in love with life. But it actually goes the other way around. It goes from inside out. And so that's why it's, you know, the name you bring the magic because it's literally you. And then the hour flows from your, in, you know, what comes from the inside of you. Baiba, uh, we both are Latvians. Mm -hmm. And um, there is something, I have a feeling that we have to uh, work to resolve because of our cultural heritage okay and um if i can be completely honest we both have struggled in our uh, romantic relationships yeah and do you, do you think uh, there is some kind of um karma or something that we need to resolve in order uh to be happy or our future generations for mm -hmm. them to be happy yeah that's a big question, right? Wow. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I have the answers, all the answers, because I'm still definitely on the journey. Um, I know that, you know, there's just so much, I think, that goes into it, you know, and kind of talking about. So if I think about like my mom, right, or my grandmother, like my life and my relationships have been better than you know, my mom's, but I think in a way, like as much as I also wanted to kind of a much different story than my mom's, right? Um, like, I still haven't, right? I still don't feel like I've met the one, right? Or I am that perfect or in that great, amazing relationship that I really, really want to create. And I think one thing that I realized is that you know, I I was mad at my mom for staying, you know, too long with my dad, you know, who ended up not being nice to her at all. And but in a way, you know, it, it's funny, like we don't want that, but then we can recreate some of some of those patterns, you know. So I think it's it's just increasing. I mean, for me, it's been like really shedding you know, um, 
a lot of like a lot of past and probably energy things uh, but also like being probably like growing my own self-worth and like walking away when some sort of you know because people obviously can be on their best behavior in when you start dating but then it's very hard for me like okay if the person starts to change or show more of their true colors and it doesn't really it's not compatible or where I feel like I have I can start questioning myself and try to adjust too much for too long versus like seeing clearly okay this is not supportive for me anymore this is not working for me anymore and it's not it's not along the lines of what I want to create in my life so I have and I have definitely stayed too long and picked the wrong partners or stayed with the wrong partners for too long when those signs start to show because I start to look at like okay what can I do what is the more work that I can do, you know, or maybe I just need to adjust my mindset. Maybe it's me, you know, so too much, too much, you know, sometimes taking that ownership versus realizing it's not a good fit and moving on. Yeah. Mm. How about you? <laughs> How about me? Yeah. Um, what do you think? Yeah. Uh, a couple of years ago, I was in a coaching relationship with uh, coach Christina Berkeley. Okay. Um, and uh, at that time, I think I was not completely honest with myself or because Christina asked me, uh, what do you want? Mm -hmm. And um, I told her all the career goals and what I want to give to the world and all kinds of things and she said no 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 that's that's not all we can build uh stepping stones for all that but there's something else mm -hmm. and i gave it a thought mm -hmm. and it was the first time i expressed it verbally i verbalized it what i would like to have mm -hmm. but i believed that I was, it wasn't for me. Mm. Um, I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it actually. I said that um, I would like that at the end of my life, I die in the arms of a man that I love. Mm. And I thought that it was not for me to happen. Wow. And um, after I verbalized it, mm -hmm. my life started uh, shifting, even though I did not believe that it was possible. And mm -hmm. I resisted. I resisted the change. Mm -hmm. But the circumstances just aligned so that uh, it happened that my relationship just simply broke apart without me doing anything actively. Mm -hmm. So at this point, I am, I'd say, in a transitional state, but it feels like my wish might actually come true oh my gosh that is so beautiful and thank you for sharing that you know because i remember when you told me this story in person and you know it really like this really touches my heart i think it will touch many hearts you know so thank you for being so vulnerable and open and honest and what came to me when you were talking about it when you were talking to the coach was it the first time that you admitted it to yourself? Yes. Mm. And before, were you just pushing it away or it wasn't even in your, like, because you were just talking to yourself, I need to make the best of whatever it is? I don't remember, but I lived in that reality where I thought I knew how it's going to evolve, how my life is going to be. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't 
what I truly desired in my heart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just thought it's not for me. It's not for you. That's what you were telling yourself. Yes. So the coach that you worked with, she really kind of pushed you and or pulled it out of you or kind of pushed you to get honest. She just you. asked that question and it was in a safe place. It was yeah. just her and me. Mm-hmm. And that's when I said it. Mm. That is so beautiful. Um, yes. do you, what do you need to, let me ask it this way. How would you like to be treated mm-hmm. in your relationship to be happy? Yeah. I mean, I really have learned that <clears throat> I want, I desire somebody who's very stable, right? Because I need to feel secure in the relationship. So somebody, because I can be very, oh, this idea, that idea, you know, let's go with it and let's, you know, and, and change directions. And um, somebody who brings that grounded and stable energy but also somebody who um, who knows how to be, because I think a relationship after the initial like first year, year and a half passes, right? It becomes to, it's like a practice of a devotion. It's like, can you, I, I really am looking for somebody who is, you know, looking to create a good relationship, you know, but it also, um, somebody who can be you know extend themselves more to kind of we all have our small me 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 my needs you know you know that's first you know but i think a relationship is really a devotion you know can you step go beyond that small self and be devoted to this you know um to the relationship and another person right yeah yeah so I'm going to be cherished and adored and, and but somebody who's really has a strong character and can, you know, love more than just themselves. Hopefully it materializes for you as well, since you now said it. Yes. Yes. Speak it into existence, right? Put Thank it. you for the opportunity. <laughs> like I've, I've written it in journals and stuff. So I'll be telling the story. <laughs> <laughs> next time <laughs> <laughs> well let's uh, let's end on this positive note how about that thank you you say thank you oh, for... my heart. <laughs> <laughs> that is my favorite movie it's one of my favorite all-time favorite movies the greatest showman yeah and you were like it's so funny people singing and acting <laughs> it's not real